the method is cross multiplication method in the pair of linear equations in two variables here the name is there cross multiplication method okay where we discuss why we discuss means uh, it is also it, this method is also very important for ir and it takes less time to find out the solution of the or to find the values of the two variables okay first we take the general form of the linear equations in two variables a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to 0 okay in this let it be equation 1 and equation 2 two equations are there it can be solved by the first graphical use the graphical method okay this is the first method the second one is the substitution method third one is the elimination method The fourth one is the cross-section method. Okay. You follow any one of the method. Okay. If they mention to find the x and y values by the method of substitution means you follow the substitution method only. The mention use the elimination method means you follow the elimination method. If they are asking the cross-section method means you follow the cross-section in the cross section how to find out the given variables or from the equations how to find out the given values or given unknown variable values okay here you take first this is the x component x coefficients okay you want to take the x relation in between of y and the constants that is take the coefficients of y b1 b2 right in the same order 1 and 2 equation it is c1 c2 you take the only constants and you are eliminating from that just you keep the skip of the x coefficients in two equations you take the coefficient of y and constant next this is y y means you you are discussing about y means you don't take the y coefficients and already these are there right in order c1 c2 c1 c2 next what we need coefficients of x a1 a2 okay next we need the constant constant always we take this one only okay one means We don't want to take this constants or we are taking the, about the discussion relation of the constants means you take x and y coefficients already x coefficient is there the right side you take the y coefficients b1 and b2 okay now you take the cross multiplication cross multiplication means up to down x this is the x variable related cross multiplication that is b1 c2 minus b2 c1 it is equal to y c1 a2 minus c2 a1 it is equal to constant 1 by a1 b2 minus a to b1 okay from this relation the x is equal to you equate x and constant then you get the x value you equate y and constants you get the y value so that is nothing but the equating of the last terms equating of the middle and last term okay that is x by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 from this x equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by 
a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this is the x next y y by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 from this y equal to c1 a2 minus c2 a1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 here you observe in two variables x and y and variables in that what are the denominator values that is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 must be not equal to 0 then only this method is applicable why if the denominator turns into 0 it is not defined that's why you take the condition and you remember the relation a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is not equal to 0 and you observe here the multiplication what we are taking the multiplication in between of the variables and constant how it shows in the class form the multiplication is in the class form so it is called as the class multiplication method okay now we discuss problems on this method the question is Which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution? No solution or infinitely many solutions? We don't know. The given linear pair of equations has which type of solution we don't know. After the check the relation and the check the relations or ratios of the coefficients of x, y and constants, we can say that is it has which type of the solution in case there is a unique solution if the unique solution is possible find it by the cross multiplication method only okay first the one first problem is x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0 3x minus 9y minus 2 equal to 0 if any method they are asking about the unique, infinitely many and no solution means the given equations is comparing with the general form of the equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Okay, here the coefficients of x and y are comparing with these general form of the linear equations here a1 equal to 1 b1 equal to minus 3 c1 equal to minus 3 a2 equal to 3 b2 equal to minus 9 c2 equal to minus 2 here a1 by a2 equal to 1 by 3 b1 by b2 equal to minus 3 by minus 9 minus minus cancel 3 1s are 3 3 are it is 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 equal to minus 3 by minus 2 it is equal to 3 by 2 here you observe a1 by a2 equal to 1 by 3 equal to b1 by b2 but c1 by c2 equal to 3 by 2 so clearly here a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. What is this relation? For no solution. If the three ratios are equal, it has infinitely many solutions. The first two ratios are equal but it is not equal to third ratio means the two lines are the two lines are parallel so it has no solution okay this is the first problem solution just you check it and you find here 
what is that relation take the equation here this is you observe it in the x and y coefficients taking common 3 then x, it becomes x minus 3 y so you substitute x minus 3 y equal to 2 by 3 then 2 by 3 is equal to 3 it's not equal the constants the relation is not equal the statement is not true the statement is not true means it has no solution okay that is the first case first problem solution second one is the second again we comparing with the general form of the equations a1 equal to 2 b1 equal to 1 c1 equal to minus 5 or 5 a2 equal to 3 b2 equal to 2 c2 equal to 8 here a1 by a2 equal to 2 by 3 b1 by b2 equal to 1 by 2 c1 by c2 equal to 5 by 8 ok so minus 8 minus minus get cancelled you take the 5 by 8 only the right side means 3x plus 2y equal to 8. Okay. Here clearly a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Okay. Why 2 by 3 is not equal to 1 by 2. It has unique solution by the relation of the ratios okay unique solution means we follow the cross section method how to find out the cross section method means now you take here x y and a constant here x means we take the b1 y and constants means here 1 2 5 8 ok the right side are there if you take the left side you take minus 5 minus 8 next for y already minus 5 minus 8 constants are there take 2 and 3 the 2 and 3 are there take y coefficients 1 and 2 that is x means b1 b2 c1 c2 y means c1 c2 a1 a2 constant means a1 a2 b1 b2 now to you take the cross multiplication x by 1 into minus 8 minus 8 minus 2 into minus 5 minus 10 it is equal to y by minus 5 into 3 minus 15 minus minus 8 into 2 minus 16 equal to 1 by 2 2 is a 4 minus 3 1 is a 3 x by minus 8 plus 10 equal to y by minus 15 plus 16 equal to 1 by 1 and equate x by 2 equal to y by 1 equal to 1. So, x equal to 2, y equal to 1. Equating these two, equating these two. Therefore, x equal to 2, y equal to 1 is the solution of given system or given pair of linear equations.